The Osprey is one of the most distinctive aircraft ever built, a machine truly in a league of its own. With the range of 1627 kilometers, the ability to take off and land vertically, a payload capacity of 9072 kilograms, and a top speed of 508 kilometers per hour, the Osprey embodies a remarkable blend of helicopter and airplane performance. It remains without a doubt a marvel of engineering. The Osprey was conceived in the aftermath of the failed 1980 Operation Eagle Claw. That mission underscored the need for an aircraft capable of inserting and extracting personnel hundreds of miles from the base, yet requiring only a small footprint for takeoff and landing. The V-22 answered that requirement by bridging the gap between helicopter and fixed-wing aircraft like no other platform before it. This capability, however, has come at a steep cost not only in engineering complexity and operational expenses, but also in the form of near constant scrutiny for safety. Its intricate tilt rotor system has been linked to accidents and mishaps, and even today the fleet faces operational restrictions while technical issues are resolved. With an operational cost of around 24,000 per flight hour, driven by high fuel consumption, frequent maintenance, and specialized pilot training, the V-22 is one of the most expensive aircraft to keep flying. It's interesting to note that the Osprey weighs about 15.2 tons. It's heavier than the 12.2 ton CH-47 Chinook, and yet, carries a smaller payload of 9.1 tons versus the Chinook's 12.6 tons. This fact highlights the fundamental design compromises of the tilt rotor. The Osprey's vertical lift capability relies on large propters at the wingtips. To carry these massive rotors along with their engines and transmissions, the wing structure must be heavily stiffened. That added weight demands more powerful engines, which in turn adds still more weight, thus creating a vicious cycle. Driving the propters also requires a complex gearbox system. The gear reduction of 38 is to 1 is required to convert high-speed turboshaft output into the low-speed high-torque rotation of the rotors. Furthermore, an interconnect drive shaft across the wing has been added to ensure one engine can power both rotors in case of a failure. This drive system alone weighs 1,714 kilograms. Layered on top of this is the dual redundant hydraulic system that tilts the massive engine nacelles, adding still more weight. In total, there are five heavy gearboxes. The two propter gearboxes in each nacelle, the mid-wing gearbox connecting the transmission shaft, and the two tilt axis gearboxes. Each Osprey is powered by two Rolls-Royce AE1107C turboshaft engines, producing 6,200 shaft horsepower, that is 4.6 megawatts of power apiece, and weigh 440 kilograms each. Additional subsystems, such as the infrared suppression system, adds further weight and complexity. The infrared suppression system mixes the hot exhaust coming from the turboshaft engine with cooler air to reduce the heat signature of the aircraft. So we have noted what makes the V-22 Osprey's propulsion system so complex. But what if this vicious cycle could be inverted into a virtuous one using electrification technologies? While battery-only approach is unrealistic with today's energy densities, a hybrid electric system offers intriguing opportunities. Let's explore. Aerospace-grade electric motors already demonstrate impressive power-to-weight ratios. For example, Wright Electric reports a motor capable of 2.5 megawatts of shaft power that weighs just 150 kilograms. Replacing each 440 kilogram turboshaft engine with two such motors per wing for redundancy would still yield a weight saving of 280 kilograms at the wing tips, exactly where the reductions matter most. The greater savings, however, come from eliminating the heavy mechanical drive system. Without the interconnect shaft and the complex gearboxes, the wings could be designed for lower stiffness and lower loads, further reducing structural weight. Similarly, 
Tilting a 150 kg nacelle requires far lighter mechanism than tilting a 440 kg engine with propter gearbox. Emerging EV tow aircraft such as the Joby's S4, Archer's Midnight, and Vertical Aerospace's VX4 already use electromechanical actuators rather than hydraulics for this task. Adopting such systems on the Osprey could eliminate the bulky redundant hydraulic circuits and save still more mass. Note that an electrical motor system eliminates the need for gear boxes, which has been one of the biggest points of failure in the Osprey. Electrical motors can be spun at the required RPM and torque by electrical motor controllers, a piece of hardware that is solid state, that is, has no moving parts. Of course, electrification introduces its own weight addition. Inverters, cabling, and turbo generator to supply continuous power must be added. Current projections suggest a 5 megawatt turbo generator at 4 to 5 kilowatts per kilogram would weigh 1 to 1.5 tons. Allowing for 200 kilograms of batteries, cabling, and buffers, the hybrid system might add back 1.7 tons. Even so, this is not a zero sum trade. The weight is redistributed away from the wingtips and the cells, areas where every kilogram drives further structural penalties towards the fuselage where weight can be carried more efficiently. Combined with the elimination of hydraulic and drive shaft subsystem, the net effect could be a lighter, more efficient aircraft with lower maintenance complexity. So to conclude, the V-22 Osprey remains one of the most ambitious and controversial aircraft ever built embodying both extraordinary capability and extraordinary compromise. By re-examining its design through the lens of electrification, there may be opportunities not just to replace power plants but to fundamentally simplify its architecture, breaking the cycle of weight, power and complexity that has defined the Osprey since its inception. You can find the weight savings estimate in a table on our website, the link is in the description. And with this the video is concluded, do let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more of these electrification videos. Thank you for your attention.